Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to make a custom title for your title screen. That's what we have right up here. It says HTG George. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to switch over to the desktop and go into a working folder. Let's do that right now. And I have one right here. I just made a folder on my C drive. I called it pack and I'll build our new pack right inside here. Now we need to get the vanilla resource pack. Right now I'm in Minecraft 1.20.4. So go to the launcher right here, go into installations, and then latest release, and click on that folder icon right there. This brings up all of the Minecraft files, and then scroll down, come way down towards the bottom, and now come down into versions. Let's open up versions, and you want to find that 124. There it is, right there. Ignore everything else, just go right for the one that says just 124 inside of here, and you should see two files a 124 jar and a 124 JSON. If you're only seeing one file, then you need to run Minecraft one time to that title screen because it loads the jar before the title screen loads. And if you're not seeing the dot jar or the dot JSON, then go over here where it says view, come down to show and check find them extensions. This is in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the top, click on the view tab, and same thing, put a check next to file name extensions. Then you'll see that we need that later on as well. Okay, let's take this. I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy. Don't move it. Make sure you only copy that. And that's set. Okay, we have that. We can now get this window out of the way. We'll come back to that later on. Let's now open this thing up. And to do that, click into the name once. Click into it a second time. And then backspace over the jar. And make it say zip instead. Hit the enter key where it says yes in here. Or you want to change it? Yes. There you go. And that's all set. Let's now open this thing up. I'm also going to change my view in here just to make it easier for this video. Go to large icons. There we go. Right click on this and open a new window. There we go. We need just a few things out of here. First off, on this list, way down, we need the pack.png file. That's the icon that shows for the pack. And I just passed it here. There we go. I want this one. Right drag it over here and copy. Need that file. Now, if you want to use your own pack PNG, it's okay. This is just a 128 by 128 image PNG format. Anything you want is fine as long as it's named pack PNG and it's at that size. You're all set to go. I'll just use the default one in here. We're also later on going to be needing a pack MC meta. I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Go back over here to the zip file, scroll back to the top again, and where it says assets. Go inside of Assets, inside of Minecraft, come all the way down here to Textures, go inside of Textures, and then inside of here, come down to where it says GUI, go inside of that, and then inside of Title right here, and that's the file you want right there, the Minecraft.png file. There's also a Minecraft.png MC Meta. We don't need that for this particular video. Okay, right drag that over here and copy, and that's the image for your Minecraft right there. That's your basic Minecraft title. Okay, one more thing to do in here, and that's that we went inside of all of these folders up here, Assets, Minecraft, Textures, GUI, and Title. We need to recreate these folders over here inside of our working folder. So let's just put this right like that. Our first one is Assets, so make a new folder in here. New folder, call it Assets. There we go, go inside of that folder, and then new folder, this one is Minecraft. Go inside of that folder, new folder. This one is textures. Go inside of that, new folder, GUI. Go inside of that one, and new folder title. Okay, it's so now back out to our working folder right there. So the folders are done. We have our pack PNG, that's done. And then we need to change this image right here. Now you can use any program you want to change this. It's just a standard. PNG file with transparency, which means that you can't use Windows Paint, but you can use Windows Paint 3D. That's because Windows Paint doesn't have transparency. But any basic graphic editor will do just fine on this. It doesn't matter. Photoshop Elements, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, online stuff. It really doesn't matter. I'll be using Photoshop Elements just because I happen to like that program. So let's go ahead and open this up in the program you want to use. I'm just going to right click on this and I'll open with the Photoshop Elements right here. And there it is, there's your big image. Now, if you want to just make this a different color, easy to do, just grab something like a magic wand, click into the area here, and then fill it with a different color. 
I have kind of a light blue here. You just do that, just fill it. There we go, and I'll, I'll deselect that. And you can just color this different colors if you wanted to say Minecraft. It's all you have to do, just like this. I'm just using this paint bucket to go along here and fill all these areas. Again, any program can do this. And you can then rechange that or change it to something else. You can also come in here and put in a different texture if you want to. Whatever you like, it's fine. Now we're not doing that in this video, so I'm just going to undo this. Let's go over here to revert back to the original. There we go. This time I wanted to do something else in here. And for that, let's make a new layer. Here's a new layer button. I'll just hide that layer. Now you need to make it the same size. That's the only important thing in here is it has to be the same size. Anything inside of here is whatever you want to do. Do a bunch of pictures if you want to. Doesn't matter, a bunch of cartoon characters. Doesn't matter, anything you want. We'll be doing a name. I'll grab the type tool here and click inside here someplace. Now inside of Photoshop Elements comes in here with some just placeholder text. And it came out at my foreground color, which is that light blue. So I'll click a couple times here and then just type in HTG George like that. And I'll line that up. It should be at the top so it fits properly into the space. If you put it down here, it's going to be having Java right in front of us. You want to have it up here at the top of the image and centered like that. Now on mine, I made it a little bit skinnier at the top. And to do that kind of trick, I just need to simplify this type layer and just make it a regular graphic layer. Okay, so now just a picture and no longer any text. And then for changing my size, transform and perspective, I'm going to pull the corner in like that. And that gives us that nice slant that we have there, kind of Minecraft slant happening. And that's good. Now to make it look better, I'll put a drop shadow behind this. And for that, again, this is Photoshop Elements. Most programs can do these things. Style settings, drop shadow. I'll bring the opacity up. Put my lighting over to here somewhere. Size to zero, so it's a hard edge. And I'll just pull out my drop shadow about like that. That looks pretty good. Now I don't want to have that black. I want to have it just a, kind of a dark blue. So I'll click on the color here and let's do an eyedropper of the blue, and then I'll just make that darker. So it's kind of a nice dark blue in there, looks good. I also want to put an outline around this. Come down to Stroke, and it's outside, and then just make that the right size you want. I'll do it pretty heavy this time. This is heavier than I used on the example. And then I'll bring down my shadow a bit further, and I think that's looking pretty good. Choose OK. So there's our basic text. I now need to save this out. It has to be saved as a PNG file so that you get that transparency in the background. So file, save for web, and want it at the PNG 24. Looks good, choose save. And there's the original. Now this copy needs to go inside of those folders. So let's just go ahead and go inside our folders, all the way into title right here. Save it right there, and that's done. Okay, so now I have our file in here, we have our Graphic done for that. Let's double check that. Go all the way inside. There it is. That's good. Now we need to have that pack.mc meta. Now, Minecraft used to include that file inside of the zip before version 118. During version 118 on one of the updates, they took that out for reasons I don't know. So I now have this up on my website. Let me bring that up for you. And that's right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can come right to this page. Scroll down, and since I'm in 124, it's the top one here. I have all the different versions in here for the pack.mc meta for all versions going back to the very beginning of this. So you want that pack format 22? Click on that, download into our same working folder, choose save, and that's now done. Close that out, and here it is. Now, just like the other zip that's open in a new window, there's a pack.mc meta. Drag it over here. That's good. We can close this down now. Now you don't need to hang on to this. You can get rid of this, so I'll just right click and let's delete that trash can. There we go. Now if you want to edit this, you can. It's already set up. I like editing mine in Notepad++. It's a great little code editor for things like Minecraft. Bring this up right here. So pack format 22 is correct. I'm just gonna change the name though to custom title. Make it all caps, choose save, and close down. That's now done. So at this point, we're basically finished with this whole thing. We can close this down right now. Now we need to make this into a zip file. So click on the assets, hold the control key down, click on the pack PNG and the pack MC meta. I'm in Windows 11, so that's a right click, compress to zip file. 
I'll call it custom title right there. Now I did this as lowercase, upper or lowercase, and this is all caps. So we can see where those are showing up when we bring the pack over into the game. We now need to place this inside of the game. And for that, let's go back to the launcher. We're still on the same page here, the installations page. Go over, click on that folder icon again. And this time, let's come down and we want to put this inside of the resource pack folder right here. Here's one I had in the sample at the very beginning. I'll delete that one. And then I'll replace it with our new one here. I'm going to right drag it here and copy. Just in case I want to come back and do anything with that in the future. We're now done with this. Get this out of the way. There's that new custom title. That's all set. It's inside of our resource packs. We can close this down. Let's now go ahead and launch Minecraft. Make sure that Minecraft is not running for this because it has to reload this as it goes in, as it starts up. Click on play. We'll launch Minecraft and we'll make sure that that is working. And there it's loading up. There's my custom page. That's the one I did previously. Let's now look at our new one. Come down here to options. If you want to find out how I did this background here and the colored buttons, I'll put links for those videos in the description. Come down to options. Come down to resource packs right here. Here's our new packs. Okay, there's the name of the zip file right here. There's the name that was inside of the pack, MCMIDI, see the all caps. That's where those two things are hiding. Let's just bring that over here and then choose done. And then done one more time. And there we go. There's our brand new title. Maybe I could have brought it down just a little bit. It looks like I'm a little high on that. Maybe bring it down just a little bit inside of the file. But there it is. You can put anything you want up here at the top of your page. I just happen to use a Minecraft style typeface. Any typeface you want, even pictures, it doesn't matter. You can put anything you want up there using this technique. Now, I said that we had to have this at the top of that file. That's because this bit shows right here. If I had centered this, then the letters here would be in behind those. If you want to, you can kind of play with it until you get your position just right if you want to have this overlapping your title up here. It's up to you. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.